Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Renee Michelle Merrifield Show. I'm your host, Renee Michelle Merrifield. Happy Wednesday. Usually we do our show on a Thursday, but we have an amazing guest today. I can't wait to bring this person on. <laughs> Jolly, how are you today? I'm uh, <laughs> muted, apparently. <laughs> Doing really good. Thanks. Just trying to get back into the swing of things. Uh after our nice little Chicago trip, so yeah. birthday great. trip. Yeah, speaking of birthday trip, <laughs> holy smokes! Look at that. this is not my special guest, but um, these are yeah. my birthday balloons. <laughs> uh, our special guest for tonight is the letter twenty-eight. <laughs> That's a number, but it's okay. Um, oh, did I say letter? <laughs> That's like a very me thing to do. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> Can you turn my mic up a little bit, LOL? Oh, for pizza. Every time. Every time, yeah. I just turned it up, too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. God, I'm deaf. I'm a musician, so it's just like I'm naturally, I can't hear nothing. There we go. That's a little better. Even a little, yeah, you know, that's a little, it's a little better. Okay. So, what's going on? How are you doing? <laughs> uh, still doing good. Thanks. <laughs> we had an amazing weekend. We went to Chicago, like you mentioned, and beautiful views and the skyscrapers and my beautiful balloons here, my birthday balloons. Those things are monsters. Yeah. So he That's had room lot. service bring that in. I'm like, I had wow. To go super. <laughs> yes, I had I had room service bring that into my studio from Chicago <laughs> moments ago. Anything comes with a price. <laughs> that gratuity is gonna really cost me. <laughs> um, yo, so we do have a few sponsors, but I mean you guys just need to check them out right now. We're gonna get some stuff rolling with them. But um I just wanna give a shout out to my friend Mandy, an esthetician. Check her out, Mandra D. She takes care of all the ladies and the men. I think she does men now. But, um, really? yeah, she does all types of things, facials and skin stuff, you know, waxing, all the necessary things of being a lady and also a man. Lady. <laughs> and also shout out to... I will not be defined by my hair <laughs> hey, or I, lack of hair. I, <laughs> you're bald. That's funny. Yeah. I love hair. It's great. Hair is a good thing. Body hair is cool, you know what Good I'm saying? Good thing, because you got a lot of it. I know. It look, just It's ridiculous. Look at that, Mom. Also, cheers to Melody Chambers. Check her out at Melody's Pretties. She does my hair and takes care of me. I'd also like to do a shout-out to Sushi Boss. Um, you guys got to go over there, eat your sushi there. They have the best sushi. Fattest rolls in town. We ate there yesterday, didn't we? We did. I had the, uh, well, Ooh. you had the, you stole my crunchy roll, and I, so I switched to the uh, spicy shrimp. It was delicious. Yeah, I had the crunchy roll, and oh my gosh. Using those sushi box. what I get. So mine comes with like avocado, yeah. um, cucumber, and cream cheese, plus whatever you want inside of it. I'm like, yes, you got to add that crunch in there. Jolly, I'm too excited. Like, can we just like hop into our guests? What do you think? I mean, if you want, it's your show. <laughs> kind of do whatever you want. Okay, so guys, I am so very excited. I have a lovely guest on tonight, and we do have actually um, some live view viewer audience uh, peoples. David Highball in the house, and in, in the house, and in, in What's the up? house. Let's see if we can swing that do camera little, around. Um, yeah, there's a little shot of David yes. right there. What's up? I will not reveal our guest yes, in, this, in this shot, just David. But we hear giggles off in the distance. <laughs> Is that David's giggles, or is it, or is it, or is it, no, nope. oh, okay. You guys, I'm so excited about my next guest. She's such a talented baby doll. I've known her since she was a little girl, and now she's growing to be a lovely young adult. Her name is Brenna Faith a singer and songwriter from Indianapolis, Indiana. She started her journey of music when she was nine years old by singing the national, national anthem at Helping Hands for Freedom events, festivals, casinos, and sporting events. When she was 11 years old, she performed with Nelly at a benefit concert. Yes, Nelly, I love that so much. And at the age of 12, she performed the national anthem on the Hallmark Channel, people, for Veterans Day. That's huge. Since the age of 12, she has performed for numerous festivals and music events across the U.S., singing pop and country music. Brenna Faith released her own EP at the age of 13 in 2016, titled Brenna Faith. After a few years to herself and working on her music, she now has a new single available on April 1st to spread sexual assault awareness, which is so important. This girl is a talented, just baby doll. I would love to welcome to the Renee Michelle Merrifield Show. It's a lot of baby dolls. 
Brenna, Faith. <laughs> <laughs> Not much. I'm excited. <laughs> you're so cute. You look amazing. I love Thank your makeup, you. your hair. You're just like shining little star. <laughs> Thank you. I've known you since you were so young. Oh my gosh. How old are you now? Are you you're 19 or 18? 18. Oh my god, that's beautiful. I mean, I've known you since you were what, like 10 or something. It was like yeah, like okay. 11, 11, something like that. Yeah. Like two, I it was love like five Brenna. Years ago, right? She's fearless. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. It wasn't. It was literally. It was literally ten years ago. You first <laughs> met her in 2016 when we did the was Rock Cross really? America. It was like five years ago. I've known no. you since you were like, like a baby child. I feel like I've known you child. before that. I know. No. Maybe so. Maybe so. Incorrect. I feel like you're incorrect. <laughs> in, incorrect. <laughs> she said, I feel like you're incorrect, and he most likely is. Probably. <laughs> Brenna, something you should uh, learn about me is that I'm never wrong. Not in my <laughs> yeah, studio. Yeah, right. No, <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Okay. See, my hair's doing that thing. Okay. Let's talk about your hair. Your hair is so cute. I love the pink. You got a little pink stripe. I know. It's almost gone. <laughs> so cute. How have you been, girl? Tell me. How's your life? What's going on? You have quite the resume under your belt. I mean, there's so many things you've done that, like, flip me out, and I'm just like, yes. I mean, but specifically, like, Jolly, let's roll that video. This is one of my favorites. Um, and you can tell us, like, where were you? At? I can't remember if I was there. I feel like I was there. The Beatles song with... Yeah, it was with the Sun Kings in San Francisco. It was during the walk across America for my dad's charity, Helping Hands for Freedom. And um, I got to sing with the Sun Kings. And it, I feel like it was kind of a last minute like thing like <laughs> i was told we were singing i want to hold your hand the original version and then they were kind of like hey you're gonna sing walk across the universe like a bit like version i was like um okay. like let me pull this up i gotta real quick. learn that in like five seconds <laughs> So. It'd be like that. It'd really be like that. And you did amazing. It's all coming back to me now. Yeah, we were in San Francisco. It was at the end of the walk. Yep. And um, it's so crazy that like our whole group, we walked across America together. David Highball was involved uh, very heavily. And we just were slaying. I mean, like it was so fun. I mean, we were just the team kind of surrounding them. Mm -hmm. And... And you were there for most of it, right? You came in when? I was the there guys. for a good part of it. I walked in Indiana. I remember walking with my dad in Indiana, and then I walked at the end in San Francisco. Yes. Okay, so for our viewers that don't know, so Walk Across America in 2016. Daddy's her, watching right now. Her, oh, Patrick Steph, Shannon. Steph, Sergeant Hi, Patrick Shannon. Dad. Shannon. <laughs> this dude is a double He says, go, heart. baby girl. He's so amazing. <laughs> Your dad is the best dad ever. And like later, we'll talk about uh, her big... My dad is the best dad her ever. Her <laughs> Spotify hit, Daddy's Gone, is like got her like lifted off the ground when she was a baby child. And I love that. I mean, that's so cool that you... I mean, you wrote that song when you were 11, right? I was... 12 when I wrote that song and, and yeah, it came and out when I was 13 13 that's crazy that's so like that's such a great accomplishment for such a young girl I love that so inspiring for like not only girls but people everywhere that's amazing that you did that but anyway squirrel um walk across America okay so we walked across America two men mostly and then um sometimes you know okay so two men David Roth and uh, and Kevin Winton walked 30 miles a day every day for like four and a half months across America for veterans suffering from PTSD, Gold Star military families. Your daddy created this whole thing, Helping Hands for Helping Hands for Freedom. Yeah, he created it with Rodney Smith. Um, when I was super young, I was very, very young. And that's how I started singing was because I started singing the national anthem mm -hmm. at my dad's events. And I was nine years old and I had asked um, Rodney Smith I was like hey do you think I could sing the national anthem and he was like we'll learn it in a couple days we'll see what you got and then I performed <laughs> it I worked my butt off and I learned it and yeah that's just kind of how everything started wait was that 2016 or was that no that was no I was nine okay that's when you're a baby child yeah. <laughs> I remember kind of working with you Ren it, Renee um, doesn't know space and time yeah I have no Mostly conception time. of like time <laughs> And I, yeah, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. But that was just one of the best experiences ever was the walk across America. And so, Jolly, do you have that video with her singing I the do. Sun Before Kings? We go that, Haley Emerson says, we are watching with Luna. Is that someone you know? Yes. Uh, Luna's my niece. Aw. Hi, guys. Aw. Okay. That's and, so sweet. And you want to see the, uh, the thing? Yes.
You better sing, girl. <laughs> I remember that venue specifically. It was the most gorgeous venue I've it ever seen. It was so freaking amazing. That's honestly my f most favorite night that I've ever sang. What was up with that place? It was like, oh, it was like Victorian or something. It was so cool. I loved it. It kind of reminded me of like an opera house in a way. Yeah. And it was like levels. That is beautiful. I love your voice. You've always had such a strong, powerful. I love when young folks can just sing it out. You know, like that's what I do for a living. Young is folks. Singing with people and teaching voice lessons. And so I love when I hear someone. I've known you forever. So I know. I mean, I've seen your, and your voice just, oof, grow, 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 grow. That's what I'm talking about. It's amazing. So wait, before we get any further, wow, you have a single Whoa. dropping I tonight. Do. I do. Mm -hmm. Dropping at midnight tonight. And not only that, but my boo, Mark Johnson, produced it in the pop uh, machine. I thought I was your boo. You're my boo forever. This is like my, my best friend boo. You know what I'm saying? It's like a different type of boo. I thought I was your best friend boo. Okay, go ahead. Okay, you Sorry. also are that, by the way. <laughs> so, like, oh, yeah, let's pull up the Mark Johnson pop machine photos. Did you know that they just did, Eric and Mark, they just did Sublime yes. with Rome in the pop machine. So yeah. these guys are no joke. Grammy nominated, most talented dudes you'll ever work with. I'm, like, honored to be their good friends and be in you know, being in bands with them. I'm like, you guys chose me. You love me. But I mean, how was that experience for you? Did you like, isn't the pop machine just gorgeous? Oh my God. It's so beautiful. And Mark is just, he's just so good at what he does. And, um, you know, I sent him my song and he just turned it into, he was able to develop it into something that was just way beyond my imagination. He's great. Oh, that's so sweet. And I knew that you would love him. I'm like, David knew. David is a great person for you. He's getting you in the door, getting you what you need as a manager and, and whatever, everything that David's doing for you. I love that. And he knew. Like, David knows. He knows what's up. Like, David Cam, hit it. And boom, there he is. <laughs> Come on, giggle for us again, David. There he is. What's up? <laughs> yeah, he knows good people when he sees it. He is the bomb. That's why he's our friend. I know, right? We got or good people. Or we're his friends because he's... <laughs> right, David? He takes us, I think. I think he, he puts up with us. But, um, you know, it's super... Like, I'm super proud of you. That was a great experience. You went into the studio and slayed. I loved, like, being there and consulting, help consulting and helping just get you pumped up for it because you were all there you know what i'm saying you just gave it your all and it's hard not to get nervous when you get in a studio setting or you know auditions and stuff like that yeah, so i thought you did really well i hadn't been in a studio setting since i was like thir 12 13 and so like when i got in there i was just like super nervous i was like oh my gosh i was like i don't know what to expect <laughs> i was scared and you were like you need to calm down because like I was shaking and like you could tell my voice and then it just went away. It's good. Yeah, you know, I just come in there and give you a little shoulder shake and be like, no big deal. Just like you're singing for an A little shoulder people. shake like an airplane in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Slap her out a little bit. Stop crying. <laughs> Toss the baby. No. Yeet. No, but you did so good. I loved it. Um, so what else is going on in your life right now? I and thought we were looking I... at the pictures that are on screen. Oh, yeah, Remember? definitely. This is me and Mark Johnson. Yeah, at the pop machine. <laughs> Thank you for the at, the pop, at the pop machine. <laughs> and just wow, I mean, there's something so special about the pop machine. It's the most beautiful studio, I think, ever. I mean, I love it's spacious and they and the twins there, they know what they're doing. They definitely know what they're doing. So I do. I love the process and being there and um, seeing, you know, taking the song that you had written, which that's hard to have somebody else, you know, like consult on your song. I've been there. I'm a singer songwriter as well. We both have that in common to where we have a lot of songs, don't we? Like yeah. a lot of songs. And I love when you come over and jam with me and you show me your new songs and your old songs and all the songs. I mean, I'm like, this is like a vault of songs. <laughs> like, I'm, like, there's, songs I'm songs. like, there's this one, and then there's this one. I'm like, <laughs> which one do you like? <laughs> yeah, there's like a million. Oh, my gosh. And it be like that. So it's really cool to take it to the next level and just like let a team kind of – it's hard to let a team in. It, I mean, I know Jolly's been doing this since 97, and – he just I'm now jolly. is starting to like. We got to talk about that. <laughs> Remember my branding? <laughs> Every time I say jolly, just put a watermark. Jason Aaron, yeah. not pro. Or something yeah. like. 
annoying like that. But Jason Aaron Dot Pro, what is that? I don't even know. He's like, that's it's, my um, name. It's a website. It's a website. <laughs> The dot pro part is just like awkward for me. <laughs> uh, I'm a professional. I'm a producer. I'm prolific. I'm a, my oh pronoun my is he. <laughs> he said I'm prolific. That's um, he needs a little hair flip, but he don't oh, got no hair. Look at the size of the board in this video. This yeah, this is thing. their new board. It's, it's gorgeous. I think it's from like Italy. I forget exactly what it's called, but it's an epic boy right there. And yeah, well, I mean, David Highball is in that studio too. Yeah, me and David in were background. in there and just kind of guiding, consulting Brenna, if anything else, just to be like, you know, like your cheerleaders because, you know, it is a little nerve wracking, but you definitely were, you got out of that, like the first five seconds, you were just like, heck yeah. <laughs> it's something special to hear your own singing voice, right? In like these professional microphones. Yeah, it's different. I'm definitely, when I listen to myself back, I'm very critical of myself. Mm hmm. Um, but I think it just helps listening to it through those professional microphones because oh, it just yeah. it just makes you feel better. <laughs> it just uh -huh. it just kind of takes away that being very critical. Oh, definitely. I'm the same way. I always tell my students like you gotta really listen. You gotta learn to like he, you gotta like record yourself a million million times and then listen back to it. It's kind of cringy when you're at first when you're recording yourself because we sound differently in our heads than we do like like literally. So it's like ugh. But yeah, um, if you, over the years, you just keep listening back, recording yourself, listening back. That's how you shape a voice, really. Seems to me your voice has always been just shaped the way it was. Like, you didn't even have to work on it. You just, like, came out of the womb and you were like, <laughs> Yeah, I <laughs> Which mean. Which happens sometimes. Like, dang, it happens. I mean, like, I took some lessons when I was younger, but, like, not really. I never really, like, got into, like, taking lessons or anything. I just kind of started singing on my own. And that's just kind of how I've always been been and i've never i mean i've kind of struggled with having like a soft voice too because i'm just kind of like a belter <laughs> it just happens yeah yeah you were born with that belt for sure um that is a rare quality to have it's a good quality to have i love it to be able to be like ma yeah i sing in a predominantly i sing in a mix and it sounds exactly like a belt but it i can tell the difference between someone that can really belt you know I, like my younger students a few of them can. I'm like, y'all was born with this. This is crazy. <laughs> but most of us can't. We would die. We would um, we would literally die. So I'm dying to talk about Nellie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Nellie's great. I mean, I know you're like way young than me, but I super love Are Nelly. we not going to go through all the photos? Oh, I thought we don't do that. <laughs> no, we went through like three. <laughs> We talk. You get me and her together, and yeah, we talk. We can talk. <laughs> Squirrels everywhere. <laughs> Brenna, Excuse what's happening in this photo? Right in this photo, Renee took this photo, and um, I was recording. And yeah, I she made me shape a heart in the picture with my hands. <laughs> I, I was like, do that, and she was like, what? <laughs> what? And I'm yeah, like, I was like, what are you talking me? about? <laughs> heart me, girl. Heart me. <laughs> Yo, I'm just going to give up on my hair at this point. I mean, most of the time our viewers are podcasters, so they can't see my hair. And so. this one, there's um, David, Mark, and then me um, while I'm recording. <laughs> Lord, y'all, okay. can you take any longer on these slides? Just... <laughs> Let's just get through that. Even though we love Mark Johnson, all the praise for him. He's cool as hell. Uh, are you gonna talk? Okay, so I'm just gonna flash through. Okay, oh my God. There we yeah, go. these are the okay and we're done. Nope, that's it. These are we're what? out of time. We're out of time. I'm sorry. You took too long to uh, talk about what, the photos. Whatever. So where'd moving the, on. Where'd they go? I thought there were some videos in there, but but if you do play the videos, you got to turn it down. We don't want to give anything away before your premiere yes. at midnight. There, there we go. Ah, turn it down. Shh. Don't want them to hear it, right? I mean, we can't it's like. It's a tease. It's just a little it, tease. A little tease. It's, it's a little tease. Yeah, okay. It's a little right tease. <laughs> I'm like, ah. <laughs> but yeah, I love that studio, dear God. <laughs> That's her slang up in the booth. Yeah. Let's, let's talk <laughs> over it a little it. bit. He's getting into it. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I was moving my hands. I was. Well, I mean, this song, not to mention, like, we haven't even talked about the this song, really. This song is about sexual assault. It was not an easy song to mm -hmm. even create or write or come forth with. No. And so I'm so proud of you for doing yeah, that. Yeah. Um, actually, it. 
it took me a long time to try and put all the words together that I wanted to write. You know, like I, you know, I was always like, I really need to come out with this song. I was like, I need to do this. I was like, I need to write a song about this. Like I need to share my emotions. But it took so long for me to actually get those words until it was just one night I was playing on piano and they just started coming to me. And I think it's the process of healing, especially when you've been healed, like you finally are healed from something. It makes it a lot easier and a lot clearer to think about and to write about. And yes, girl. it was really, it was, um, <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot easier to write about when I had healed from it. And um, it just all came out. And then I shared it with you guys and I was in love with it and I knew that I needed to come out with it and share it with all the other people and especially comes out April 1st so it is sexual assault month um, sexual assault awareness month and I thought what better month to release it than that so oh my god I'm so proud of you that's such an amazing topic it's so brave it's a it's beautiful like wow I absolutely love this song I love what you have done with it and I love how Mark made the song true to you you know what I'm saying it's like we didn't even change anything to what you had you know what I mean we just added some musicality a little to it but like dang like you slayed this and furthermore like do you feel, feel about sharing the who had messaged you about it? <laughs> oh, are you talking about? Are you talking about Corey? Yeah. yeah? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. So no. I just so, gotta put you in a little box. And when I you. before I had decided to record this song, I was like, I so I have a huge love for Corey Feldman. I'm like huge into the '80s movies and. I love Corey Feldman. Even though you're a baby, so you're an old soul, for sure. I just love everything, like, 70s, 80s. It's just great. Yeah. So, um, I had messaged Corey Feldman, and I was just... Because he's very involved in sexual assault and rape. Like, he's he's very involved in that, especially in... He's part of the Kids 2 movement, which is... Mm -hmm. It's a lot Big to do. Big on that, yeah. It's a lot to do with um, kids and, like, Hollywood and, you know, getting assaulted and raped and um i had messaged him telling him that he was such an inspiration and he replied to me and we had like a full-blown like conversation, conversation. <laughs> we were talking about it and i hadn't recorded the you song called yet. me immediately like yeah. Corey Feldman keeps <laughs> replying over and over and we're just <laughs> talking and i'm like that is so cool that he cares about his fans like that yeah and i had told him that i like wrote this song and he was like well, have you recorded it? What are you waiting for? And that was just kind of when it clicked. I was like, if Corey Feldman tells happen. you, then I'm doing yeah, it. It needs to happen. That's so. amazing. That's so cool that he is like, you know, involved not only in the Me Too movement, but the kids Me Too movement. Like that's, yeah. it's not more important, but wow. I mean, oh, oh, yeah. gives me shivers. <laughs> Like, kids are so important. They are so pure and amazing. They never should be violated. Like, I'm so proud of you for speaking on behalf of millions, probably, of people that have been um, sexually assaulted or worse or anything that has to do, like, even just, I mean, I've been sexually assaulted so many times. I was telling Jolly that just, like, in my younger days, you know what I mean? Just mm -hmm. with people, like, won't leave you alone and stuff. And it's just, like, I don't know. It's, like, you just kind of get used to it. You just kind of brush it off. You don't think it's a big deal. And but you shouldn't. Like, it shouldn't yeah. be, like, something that's, you Exactly. Know. It should be more talked about. And yeah. it should be something that people can feel free to come forward. Because, like you said, unless you're healing or have healed from it, then it's very hard to even, like, yeah. even talk about it. And so that's so brave and amazing, like... Oh my god! I was so excited when you came. You were like, "This is the one," and I'm like, "I know." I'm like, "Should we?" And, <laughs> you know, you yeah. like, Are you? <laughs> because me and you had been talking about like trying to figure out which song of mine we want to do for a single. I'm like, like, "This is a statement." Look, honey, I'm just saying. <laughs> if you would, I mean, that's good. I'm not saying it's wrong. Like, let's do it. You know what I mean? But then when I heard it, I was like, "This is perfect. This is literally perfect." And it just came together so well when we were with Mark. Like, it just. It just, like, hit, like, when we went into the studio that night and he played, like, some of, the, like, the instrumental tracks and everything, I was just like, it's perfect. It just hit you and you were just like, yeah. Yeah, it was great. It he was is so, so talented. Yeah. Oh, Mark Johnson, yeah. And you've never met his twin, but he has an identical twin brother. Eric. I have him on Instagram. Eric Clay Johnson. Those guys are the best, man. <laughs> well, no, I was on Instagram one day and he started following me and like liked the post from uh, the pop machine. The pop machine. And I was like, I was like, 
wait who is this and then I, <laughs> I looked on it and i was like oh okay yes yes so me and the twin johnson brothers are in a band called mono fiction which was a band in the 90s called wonder drug which was like famous essentially it was like really well off like everybody knew him and so i'm kind of in i i'm in the same band that that was but it's kind of changed into mono fiction but yeah i last time we did something we opened up for smash mouth so that was super fun like oh my god everybody loved that concert all the kids were like wow <laughs> everybody loves those shrek songs man they just go wild for it but the the twin brothers are the greatest so i'm so glad we got you in there david highball knew i knew it's like yeah we got to get you we got you we got to get you in the pop machine <laughs> and, then, and then like this came to be so Yes. Should we show a little, can we show a little bit of the song or Jolliffe, I never did send that to you. Mm. Um, oh, poop. I didn't send it to him. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going to do? V- visualize the song? How are we going to show you know, it? I, okay. I remember you did email it to me, didn't we? Maybe we could just. Wait, I texted it to you. But oh, that's, you... I texted you the mix. That's not the master. Hang on. I'll email you the master. Okay. He'll email okay, him he'll, the master. Yeah, um, Ooh, this is happening. I'll just hold it up and we'll play a little bit. But That's okay. I mean, I'll I'm bring so... it into the system. Thanks, weirdo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, that works too. I'll just uh, play it through this tin can and I'm sure it'll sound great. Wow, professional. This is a professional studio, Renee. So. Yes, I had the best birthday ever. Can you believe I'm 28? Oh my God, so you're 18 and I'm 28? Oh my God, that's so cute. <laughs> I swear, it's just like I don't feel like you're that much. Like, I just, I don't know. We get along so well and we hang out Age so well. Age is not a thing. Yeah. No, I this feel- is like my friend, people, literally. She is one of my girlfriends. Like, we have so much fun. We have slumber parties. We like pop popcorn, watch scary movies. We, need to we do jam. That we should do that tonight. We should do that tonight. We're definitely. I'll order a pizza. Oh, you I'm know hungry. what? Ooh, I, have, I know. I had to make French fries before the show. I was like, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> so I was thinking how we should share about how last time we had like a jam session. Um, I was like ugly like in my pjs but that's okay and so you posted looking cute as always you posted a little video of you singing queen yeah so i was playing piano and she was singing queen what song was that again uh, um, love of my life yeah love. so she did this like really beautiful cover of love of my life and then we did a dan and shay cover and, and dan, dan and shay commented, commented on it and said you guys sound amazing or said you sound no, amazing no what they know. say i'll oh, pull they said I, you sound amazing or I, something. I got this. I, I was got like, this. wow. And then you go to Dan and Shay, they got like four million followers. <laughs> it's like <laughs> they really just like I got this, it on that. But we'll find it. It's super cool. I got it. Super cool. <laughs> I'm like hyper. It feels like Friday. I'm not used I'm to having so things on like, Wednesday. I'm, I'm like, so wow. jittery. Okay. <laughs> they said y'all sound great exclamation point. Drop the mic. <laughs> Thank you, Dan and Shay. We'll be here all night. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta do some more like mini covers. Why don't you have a TikTok? Oh my gosh! Yeah, I answer that a, question. I do have a TikTok. I really do. I barely post stuff on it, but I'm planning on posting my song tomorrow. On um, it? Yes, I just, I'm. I mean, I watch TikTok. I just really struggle posting stuff. I'm not good at it. Me. So, <laughs> bro, Jaw, if you know where this is going, right about the TikTok thing. Dude, I saw it on a meme page. Okay. <laughs> what? I don't, I didn't realize it was you either. I had like just woken up and I was like scrolling through my phone and I was like, who would post this? Like, honestly, <laughs> and that honestly came into my mind. I was like, what is this person squeezing? And then, <laughs> and then all of a sudden you post about it like the next day and you're like, this took off. And I'm like, I know. Oh. I I posted this TikTok of this like six second video where I'm like I don't trust these things I never will it's those little like floop what are they even I don't know they're, they're like, like the, full of like they're weird like stuff. water and they go like <laughs> they go, it's, it's <laughs> really <laughs> gross it's a gross thing um okay got you the song oh, will the be song on will TikTok. be available on TikTok like you can TikTok with it what is your at on TikTok <laughs> my at Oh, let's see. I really don't have that many followers. Like, when I'm telling you I don't post stuff, I really don't. Apparently, um, I'm, like, but freaking I famous to. now on TikTok. It's Faith <laughs> B underscore 20. 
people follow her this is gonna be her incentive my student yesterday nine no she's 13 i was like why is she yeah so 13 year old student literally talked this into existence she was like yelling at me she's like you're so funny you have all these tiktok ideas why won't you do tiktok and get tiktok famous and then that same day I can see you get TikTok this famous. stupid video jolly do you have that can you pull this up these things, absolutely <laughs> one moment me out. okay what are you doing yeah. stop don't do that what are you doing <laughs> Bro. I think you so just, just get us. I think you, I think you just, I feel like you get us together and then we just bounce off each other. And then you make like other. horrible decisions. Like I feel world. like we're just so similar. She's like my little spirit animal we sister. We bounce off of each other, you know? <laughs> there it is. That's not cute. So this literally just got a hundred, okay, a hundred and ninety thousand k views, and then thirty five hundred likes, twenty five comments. I'm just like, oh my god. What? I swear to you, I saw it on a meme page on Instagram, and I was like, "Who would post that?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "That's like the dumbest shit." And it's like I've literally a like ten year old video. <laughs> I just like found it. <laughs> These things absolutely <laughs> creep me out. Always have, always will. <laughs> like. So I don't understand how that warrants like I'm just trying to find who in the world shared it or if it was on the for you page or what in the world happened but 190,000 views as of last night and then 3500 likes my student my nine year old student FaceTimes me screaming oh my god her name and I'm like dude what? I actually can't believe you answered a FaceTime I know you like literally I am the worst one thing you literally. should know about Renee <laughs> my phone is, is that off she doesn't she's not real good at accepting calls messages emails <laughs> or anything accurate david said get the david cam david cam please don't come after me <laughs> trying to get to renee just keep trying to message her she'll answer occasionally Eventually. sometimes yeah i had no power over that no you know you my boo y'all my boos david's like brenda what's yes. your tiktok again faith b underscore 20 i remembered it <laughs> And my TikTok is at Renee Merrifield. Y'all go gotta see my famous viral video. I literally... She's I, got 12 people following her. She's pretty... She's you pretty, know, uh, I told you we'll I don't you post anything. <laughs> we'll get you I'm somewhere. telling you, I don't put, I don't invest enough into it to Hello, like... Hello, I am user... I have so many good one zero two seven three nine zero three two five seven six seven. Nice oh to meet you. <laughs> I'm about to go like all your videos. All my two. <laughs> my Ooh, whole two. How do you go live on TikTok? I've always wanted to do that. I have no idea. Okay, anyways, now is not the time for Okay, so anyways. we got to figure... What's, what's, what are we talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah, the you song. You want to hear that song? Yes, yes, With yes. Little Just clip. to clip it. Maybe, uh, should we go towards the three-fourths? David said we could listen to the whole thing. Play the whole thing? Okay. <gasps> we'll, we'll, wait, we'll play like 30 wait. seconds up, like pretty pretty nice and loud, and then I'll bring it down. You guys can play it. Okay. Go like 40 no, seconds in. Yeah, like... Okay, I yeah. said 30, but whatever. Oh, I didn't hear you. LOL, LOL. That's at the beginning, lol. Yeah, that's not the beginning. That's not 40 seconds. Oh, in. I was going to play Jason. 40 seconds. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I don't understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Julie, Julie. Can't take back the day. No, it's just. She feels so weird. I'm not going to lie. It's some kind of way. I love this song. Famous. And then the bridge just goes ape. I love it so much. Yeah. Oh my god, the bridge is amazing. So that was the that's kind of, yeah, so that this is the second verse here. So yeah. how does it feel to just release something so empowering? And Jolly, I say keep it, you know, keep it going a little, you little know, I planned on it. 
Thanks. I, <laughs> I mean, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is great. This is I don't, huge. I don't think it's actually hit me yet. You know, like I haven't come <laughs> out with anything. And since I was since I was like super little and, you know, like I drifted away from music for like ever. And then, you know, I just started getting back into it. And like I realized this is just like what I want to do. And I was like, it just it just hasn't hit me yet that it releases at midnight. I don't think <laughs> so. Um yeah, I'm I'm excited, but I just don't think I'm in the realization yet. It'd be like that, huh? Yeah. Maybe it gets picked up too. Maybe Corey has something to do with it. Like, I say, let's get him involved in the music video. A bunch of like, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. He could be like skateboarding or something to be like, yeah. I don't even know. <laughs> something supporting like the movement. You know, I was Anything. I have a good picture in my head, David. I had a good picture in my head. So. In a way, I was like, I was thinking like in the video, we could just have like a bunch of people like that have that have went through this and like are willing to, you know, like Ooh, are willing like to do this. Like a sign or like paint like, on them or something. And they're all just like together, like <gasps> oh, you know what I mean? Oh like, my god! Yes! Stop! I'll cry. <laughs> I'll cry too. <laughs> oh, everyone always makes me cry all the time. I hate you guys. <laughs> Yes, that is so amazing. So here's the bridge that I love so much. Yes. You're like, girl, if you cry, I will cry. <laughs> oh, man. No, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. That's great. I love it. Okay, so were we talking about Nelly? <laughs> that was like forever ago, <laughs> but like... <laughs> We yeah, got, now we, that we got, got a lot of cheering. people. Uh, just want to take a break here. We, uh, thank you, everyone, for commenting. Uh, we're throwing those up on on screen. Uh, uh, they can't necessarily see it, but uh, they, they'll see it after the fact. So we got Carol uh, Williams Beck from the uh, <gasps> from the walk. Hi, Carol. This is like a little reunion with David <laughs> Highball in the house, Patrick Shannon, and uh, and everyone. So it's cool. Thanks, thanks for commenting. Keep it coming. Your dad is the greatest. Oh my God! And after we talk about Nelly, I do want to share "Daddy's Gone," your first single yeah. that's on Spotify and that really I feel put you on the map. And such a beautiful song. Thank you. I actually wrote it with my dad. He is a lot such of people a cutie don't, pie. A lot of people don't know that, but me and him sat down together and we wrote it together. So, so for the, all the, y'all that don't know, Patrick Shannon is such an incredible guy. I think, you know, we mentioned before, he's the founder along with Rodney for Helping Hands for Freedom, but he is a double purple heart, um, soldier, amazing dude. Seriously, he was walking with the two guys on the Walk Across America majority of the time and like they had like broken toes and mm -hmm. like blisters they went through 16 pairs of shoes yeah i don't know how they did it the one day i walked with them all day in indiana i was like i don't know i know how right do this. i know and they're like you know i mean your dad is really fit but the other guys were like you know bigger bigger guys and i they walked 30 miles a day i could not make it past i tried walking multiple times because me and jolly were there doing the you know mm -hmm. the documentary we were there every day with them kind of circling around them but i my body like gave i was the youngest one there my body gave out after like 10 miles <laughs> like it was like you ain't walking another step <laughs> i'm like how in the hell do they do this it's crazy and your dad had like something broken but he was just he's so like awesome he was just trugging through and he he's did a that. marine he is so a marine he's <laughs> the coolest so with nelly how old were you i actually so in the video it's kind of funny um you know, you I was a, baby. I was a kid, and I, he was like, "How old are you?" And you know, my birthday was like that month or the next month, and I was like, "I'm 11." You know, I wasn't 11 yet, and I was like, "Yeah, yeah I'm 11." You were 10. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was 10. It'd be like that when you're like younger. Lying about your age. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> And um, my dad, a whole 11, you know, like that made so much like, of a difference. <laughs> yeah. um, no, but it was a Nelly and Murphy Lee benefit concert for Helping Hands. And um, I sang the national anthem uh, before the show started. And then I knew I was going to be singing with Nelly. I didn't know what. <laughs> so it was really That's stressful for a 10 year old it slash 11 year old. It was so scary. And, you know, I went up there and I'm just like all in my head when he pulled me up. And he you was like, like you so cute on the video. You were just kidding. You were like, oh, oh, ready to go. You were just slaying it. He was like, do you know this song? And I was like, no, because I was like, I didn't realize I knew the song until, you know, started. You started and um, I was like, no, but I know this other one. And he was like, well, just hang on. And then I got it. I was like, oh, yeah, let's get it. He's like, oh, you know this song. Yeah. 
So he brought you up. Jolly, roll that clip. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and you had an idea, which I think we had the same idea at the same time. Maybe you had this idea like a long time ago, <laughs> but we like talked about it at the same time, yeah. but, like months ago or however long it was ago. But like you doing a remix of this. Oh, yeah. I and, definitely like, want to make Nelly it into a, Yeah, I definitely want to make it into a ballad. <laughs> I think it'd be great. Oh, my gosh. Yes. And what a nice guy. I mean, he seems like really oh, nice guy. Oh, my God. Nelly is the best. He's so sweet. Oh. See Look how young you were. You were such a baby. <laughs> this is like almost a decade ago. I love your Bob. You swag it on. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know this word for word, this whole video, because I watched it so many times. Yeah. I was thinking about her, thinking about me, thinking about us, what we gon' be. Open my eyes, it was only just a dream. So I travel back down that road, but she come back, no one knows. Now I realize it was only just a dream. I was at the top and I was like, I'm in the basement. Same. Number one spot, now she got a replacement. I swear now I can't take it. Knowing somebody's got my baby. And now you ain't around, baby, yes, I can't take it. David Cam, David Cam. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Run your fingers in my hand, my, my show, but my, my life, my shawty, my wife. You're so cute. Look how little you are. Oh, he grabs my hand right here, dude. Sway. Look how you're a star. Oh, he's so cute. He's a nice guy, you can tell. He's so sweet. I want to redo Nelly. I want to redo. I'm older. I want to redo. Call out. Say, at Nelly. Nelly, I need a redo. Remix. Nelly, if you're watching this, Brenna Faith wants a remix. <laughs> Love wasn't enough. I'm going through it every time that I'm alone. And now mission, mission, should pick up the phone. <laughs> We're such doors. <laughs> We're doors. I was thinking about her. Thinking about me. Thinking about us. What we gonna be? Open my eyes. Yeah, it was only just a dream. Look at her. She's so small. <laughs> Look at my little pigtails. I yeah, have such like, a baby. I have like little pigtails going. Just a dream. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, oh my you God. can skip to this part. My rhythm was horrible. <laughs> no, no don't make it go full screen. Don't tell me what to do. Jason. Don't tell me how to live my life. Jason, my that rhythm. So cute. Oh, my God, my rhythm. Wow, you look cute. What my rhythm. Now, watch this. Watch this. Cute. Watch my arm. Oh, dear God. Oh, God. You're like on Eminem. Arm. What am I doing though? I'm like slapping my ribs. I'm like, it I'm looks like, good. Like, like, you're, on, you're on rhythm. You're like, hey, hey, hey. I'm hey. so stiff. I was like, <laughs> vomit on your sweater already. Knees deep, mom spaghetti. You look so cute. I can't believe it. So we're gonna get that working for you. Your team here is. We're gonna do like. This has to happen. It so, has to. Like side by side. Look at you getting it. You're killing it right here. It was only just a dream. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at his ice on his neck. He's got like ice. Brenna, y'all give Brenna a round of applause one time. Brenna! Hey. That was a nice. She got the bug. What? The bug? I the bug. It. You know, like the bug oh, to perform. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, not like a bad bug. Well, I got you. Like the inkling. That was the night she got bed bugs. What? That was Ew, weird. No. That's a weird segue. Speaking of bed bugs. You got bugs, the inkling no. to yeah. like want to do music. Yeah. I honestly, like really the inkling to it's perform. Been there. It wasn't, it was actually when I was older and I had already had my EP out. 
Um, it was when I performed with the Sun Kings. That was the night that I knew. Oh, you mentioned that. Oh, my God. Yeah. And I remember feeling something magical that night. That night, I, that was my absolute favorite night of performing. I don't know what it was. I keep hitting this thing. <laughs> I, I move my hands and Please it happens. Stop. Oh, Please stop hitting the microphones. Jolly, <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, she said jolly. Oh, she called me jolly. I'll allow it. <laughs> Jason Aaron, not pro. <laughs> um, it just clicked Your for dad you. Your dad says, says, stop slouching. Dad. Sit up straight. Dad. <laughs> dad. 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 Come on, dad. Fine. There you go. I love jean jackets. Those are so cute. I need to get me a new <laughs> jean jacket because I just bought like 5,000 pins to put on. We should do that as a project together. We can I want a decorate. bedazzle. That's why I'm saying it. Oh, we need to get a bedazzling <laughs> pin. <laughs> anyway, you were saying that it didn't hit you until that yeah, night no. with the Sun Kings. Yeah, that night was when it really like hit me that I was... Um, I'm like, what was that venue? God, that was, it was so just, pretty. It just really hit me that night. Like, that's what I wanted to do. I don't know... It was just the environment. It was just everything. And it was like every time I went to hit that one high note, it was like. Sounded amazing. It was just like, I don't know, the energy there. It was Jolly, great. play that one more song, one more time, please. Um, it's in the drop box. It says, play me. LOL. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's so slay. It's sl I love the fact, too. I mean, I know as a musician, sometimes you just got to do stuff you don't even, like, not prepared for. But you were clearly prepared. Sl turn it up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and the thing is, is the song didn't actually go that high. You guys were like, everyone was like, they want that up. version. Yeah, they were like, go up one more note, and I was like, God, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> and I did it, and I don't know. And it's you're just so like, proud of yourself. It was great. It was amazing. And you start belting here again. I love your voice. It sits in a natural belt, like you had mentioned, and I think that's super awesome. Is it? Oh, did it turn off? Okay, play it one more time. That's that so good. Okay. David just said I surprised him with that high note. Yes! <laughs> Slaying. Yes! That was my whistle! I recognized it. <laughs> <laughs> Jolly, you're so techy. <laughs> Thank you. I know. You're, you're welcome. He's a lifesaver. <laughs> you like my studio? I here. love it. <laughs> studio cam. Mm -hmm. uh, studio cam. No, I didn't really have one. <laughs> oh, I must have. I must have like abruptly stopped that there. But well, it's a, uh, yeah, <laughs> and you got your white heels on. We, I we think got I those remember together. those. Me and you went and bought those together. We got lost in San Francisco. Do you not remember this? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> No, our phones were dead. Our phones died, and me oh and you, God. me and you, went walking around, and we went into this Apple store to try and figure out if we could charge our phones. And then we went. I needed some shoes for that night. We, I needed. <laughs> I needed some shoes. Why for don't that. I remember? I have like zero yeah. percent. I have yeah. like short and long term David memory remembers. loss. <laughs> No. Remembers it well. Oh my god! And so I got the same pair. No, we went into we went yeah, into same size. I don't remember those heels, honey. Those no. white chiclet heels. No, so we went into uh, <laughs> this like shoe store, and we we're like, oh, let's go in a shoe store. You know, we're lost. We might as well. And we went to the shoe store, and I was like, yes, I really like these for tonight. And then we ended up being like late for something because me and you got Sounds lost that right. performance probably me and you got lost in san francisco like how do you even renee get lost what <laughs> yeah she... jolly yeah. still hasn't forgiven me for when i um got stuck in traffic the very last day when they were walking through the san fran bridge and the guys were walking you know what i'm saying i was supposed to meet him on the other side take the car cross the bridge and meet him on the other side he does not believe me this happened but this literally happened so like there's like seven lanes of traffic and, and i was the having show's like over. a thanks random for coming, everyone. i had like a random thanks for tuning in to this episode of <laughs> <laughs> i literally couldn't get over and so i drove right. like miles down the road and i tried to she I was waited about 15 minutes to pull out too late yeah, yeah. but i literally got oh so you admit stuck. it no i waited like five oh, seconds oh she admits it I need to have like a hair break, I think, because this, I mean, it's cute, but it's like your hair's so cute. I'm over here looking like a rag muffin. You know what I'm saying? These. Look uh, closely headphones. at that hair. Look at that. Yes. Yes. Give me a second to adjust myself. I. Yep. I'm zooming in. 
<laughs> See how close I can get. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well my hair is like no there's no helping it so i'm just gonna leave it alone pretty much but yeah so hey. that's crazy about nelly you gotta list. that's crazy about Nelly. oh yeah let's move on to daddy's gone hey <laughs> <laughs> thank you. you keep me on track here daddy's gone was your first um ep we'll call it it definitely was an ep hit yeah single. so it was um it came out with two other th songs but um jolly pull it up on spotify Mm -hmm. um yeah so i wrote daddy's gone about when my dad left for iraq i was like three four years old and it's crazy because like honestly my first like memories that i do have as a kid was then like i don't even know how i remember that young but like the first memories i really do have was i remember his like going away party like i remember swimming in that pool for some reason like i just remember all that stuff i remember sending him videos like i remember all of that so well and it's weird because mm -hmm. i don't remember anything else from that age and so but for some reason oh. i remember this and um yeah Sounds i wrote beautiful. this song about it i mean oh i just got goosebumps but how sweet i mean if you knew if people knew your dad they would understand like your dad is such a great dad. He's, he loves you so much, and he's, he's such an amazing guy. As I'm well a daddy's as a, girl. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Who wouldn't be with a dad like that? You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I love my dad, too, but damn, your dad's a really nice guy. And so I think that's so sweet you wrote this about him, and you know, he was going off to war. Mm -hmm. And, that, I mean, it's crazy you were that young, and you remember that. Mm -hmm. But we remember stuff like that, and you can, you know, it affects, like, yeah. How you feel? Probably kind of traumatic. For sure. Yes, yes, yes. Turn this Stop up, Stop fiddling Jolly. with your hair and your head and it your headphones. It looks ridiculous. This, <laughs> I don't know. what. Usually I look fly, but today it's like, absolutely not. Oh, yeah. Sing on top of your voice. I love when that when people do that. <laughs> God, I was belting in this song. You was getting it. I was belting. So we can make things for you. We'll forever be the same. I'm the backup vocals. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy walked back to me. Tears started rolling down my cheek. Yes, people sang it, sang it. Okay, sing for us. Daddy promised he'd be okay. He picked me up and said goodbye. He had to hide the tears in his eyes. Oh, it just turned Yes! This is so amazing because, like, America, you know, oof. I guess what I'm talking about. I know it means it's, I know everyone in this room. We super duper are like, we love America so much, and just the sacrifices people have made for us. And it's crazy that we have a free country that we can do what we want to do. We're free to be us. Like that's crazy to me. And it came at a price. Like it wasn't free. So I mean, it's like this is great. Like all your songs are freaking relevant. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I like writing <laughs> songs. I don't know. I feel like all it my like songs have to have some type of meanings. Yes. <laughs> like, I feel like I have to tell a story with like all my songs. And I'm like, Brenna, you don't have to do that all the time. You know, sometimes you can make some like fun songs, you know, not <laughs> sad songs. Well, when you get famous, then you can literally make a million songs. They'll love them all. You know what I'm saying? You got to make that first hit that gets you through the door and the radio and the music industry. And then boom, everyone's going to love all the songs you write. That's how I, at least I tell what I tell myself and tell my fellow artists as well. It's like, they're gonna, you know, sometimes it's unconventional. We can't help that as singer-songwriters, you know what I mean? That's kind of, we're doing that and that, but oof, I love that song. I remember when you performed it for some big gala for Helping Hands for Freedom and we kind of had worked on it. Wait, I played piano for you. Yep. That was at the- um, That was at the, San Francisco. The, no, that, no. W well, that was at the Dell and uh, Van giveaway yeah. uh, thing. Yeah, she the Van giveaway. Oh yes, Dylan. Dylan dealership. That was fun. They you just sang four non-bloms, Michelle. Oh yes, and you know the, I loved how at the Dylan 
like auto place they just made like a whole concert venue out of it they just turned like the like whatever it was into a big stage and shout out to cool. Dellen who provided that like donated the van uh, our production um the production van and then that gave I had it all away my to gear someone, in uh, someone that I had my wanted. gear in and allowed me to kind of follow the uh the gang across America and shoot from it and sleep in it and uh you know that was kind of my in our home base so it was yeah, that's great when shout we first them, started great Jolly. Oh. Jason, you're in Jason, you're in I would like a moment of silence for our relationship. It's flourishing. <laughs> 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 okay, so you've done so, I mean, so, so, so much. And I, I love that. Like, just give us a little shouty poo out. Like, where can we follow you? You know, are you, you're Brenna. Your last name is Shannon, but you go by Brenna Faith. Yes. So, do you want people to add you on Facebook, or is that yeah, like, Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, I actually have <laughs> More a... More importantly, s- like the page, right? I actually have a singing page on Facebook. Um, I stopped using... Like, literally, my first post in years was literally, like, a couple days ago. Um, I haven't used that page in such a long time, because I stopped singing for so long. You mean but- this page? Yes, that one. You are I know. correct. That was a rhetorical question. <laughs> <laughs> he already knew. Brenna Faith. And then um, I have Brenna Faith on Instagram as well. B underscore Faith 08 on Instagram. I, I can Instagram in here. So, oh, there it is. On the gram. Boom, 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 boom. On the gram. That's the gram right there. <laughs> what? What's the Instagram again? B underscore faith zero eight on the screen. On, on the screen, screen. we need to we need to change this to Brenna screen. Faith. <laughs> is it taken? <laughs> yes, that is taken. No, I tried to how change about it. The real Brenna Faith. How about <laughs> how about how about B Faith Pro? No, no, oh, God, no. That's that's we could be twinsies. I'm good. We could be twinsies. I'm good. So actually, I wanted to touch too on how you sang on the Hallmark Channel. That is amazing. So like, yeah. what? Um, so it was a Veterans Day event um, for the Hallmark Channel. I'm and sensing a pattern. Go veterans. <laughs> yeah. Go veterans. Yeah. <laughs> good job. Um, no. So uh, it was a Veterans Day event on the Hallmark Channel, and they were awarding Helping Hands for Freedom um, with a cash amount, like, for the charity. And um, I was there to talk about, because when, so when I was, like, I don't know, I might have been, like, nine or ten, um, but I helped Helping Hands for Freedom come up with this one part of the charity, and it was um, Dream Chasers. And it's basically, like, um, kids whose parents are in war, like, it's basically promised, like, to go to Disney World or, like, to talk to us, like, just, Something that makes yeah, their day yeah. type thing. Yeah. And um, so one of the things that I had done, uh, I talked to John Stamos on the phone. No big deal. <laughs> Jesse from Full House. <laughs> <laughs> to clarify. <laughs> to clarify. <laughs> um, Full House. <laughs> no. Wow. I talked to John Stamos on the phone, and, like, I told him about, like, the singing and everything. But I was super young, so he talked a lot about Full House. Like, that was my thing. Like, that's what I want to talk about. Um, You're like, I'm obsessed. No big deal. <laughs> yeah. I really was. And so on Wait, the, the original Full House or, like, the reboot? Original. Oh, Really? Original. Don't mess with us, original. The original of everything is the best. Good for you. <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, but it was still them when they came back, wasn't it? I never yeah, watched it. Yeah, it was. But it was, it yeah. was, but still okay. the original Full House. It was them, it's like, like 50 years better. later. 50. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not 50. Uh, no. <laughs> um, no. So, um, we went to the Hallmark Channel. They wanted me to talk about that for Dream Chasers with Helping Hands. And so I was talking to my dad. We and my dad were talking on the show, and um, they were asking him about the charity, and they were asking me about Dream Chasers, and they played, like, a one side of the clip of me talking to John Stamos. And um, then they asked me to sing the national anthem at the end of the interview. It was, like, after a commercial break, and so um, I sing the national anthem after that, and it was on Home and Family on the Hallmark Channel, um, which I think that show is That's still big. going on. It's, like, a talk show, kind of, like, yeah. that... It's kind of more of what it is, but it was such a cool experience. And like at that time, like I was like 12. So I had like a teacher for the day (laughs) because like all like, like when people are on TV shows, like a lot of like, you know, like the people are still in school, like they have to have like a teacher and they have to do like, it was like four hours of work or something like schoolwork that I had to do. Mm -hmm. And so we did like four hours of schoolwork and, um, 
It was so cool, but like it was at the Universal Studio, like the lots where they like film movies and stuff. Oh, really? So we like drove around. Did you get to see some things, some cool things? Yeah, I saw like <laughs> where the I saw the set of like Psycho. Like it okay. was so cool. It was so. It's fun. interesting to see him like riding around on little like golf carts oh, and yeah. they're just whew. And then I had the little like makeup touches that they did. I felt I felt like I was, was a fancy. legit star that day. It was great. Girl, let's channel that. That's what is going to be in the future so your past comes back in the future no i'm joking but like that is like oops like the psycho with uh like the new psycho with vera farmiga no it was the old one oh the original farmiga is my wife lol and i don't remember the dude's name but that's a good series but okay she's my favorite oh you probably know who she is how are they showing you stuff from the original she looks like a young vera farmiga it was like it was a um like I'm props to, or something no it was like sets like they were all actual like house sets like you drove around and it was all outside and um mm. they each had like their own little like section like over here's the house from psycho over here's this from like whatever like it was literally like you're driving through like a neighborhood of movies <clears throat> oh yeah no where, it's where like each out? set is different yeah like, but it was crazy. all outside and where was it at universal, universal studio universal, okay. LA. I, did, I did a warner brothers thing like a drive through like that yeah and I, uh yeah, the, the last episode of Seinfeld was filmed there and like Friends and stuff like that. So oh, those friends. are really cool. Yeah. Friends! Oh, did you know that we, so we just went to Chicago. They have a <gasps> Friends Dude, experience in downtown Chicago. We, we went in there like, went. what is it? They have like central perks I've been there, so, so jealous. I know about <laughs> that. I want to go so bad. We'll have to, you have to go with us next time we go to Chicago. Yeah, we had so much oh, fun in Chicago. Oh my God, I want to go. Almost, we stopped by and we're like, what is this Friends exhibit? exhibit? And then we. Yeah, we it's just, supposed to look like, like the set and. Um, California. You probably would like lose your mind. You'd be like, "Oh my god, I recognize this." I recognize girl, this. I, just, I recognize I, this. Girl, I just shared about that exhibit the other day. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. So that's good. And then Carson Deersing, I remember you were there performing with him. Yeah. He's a little famous skater dude. Um, I mean, semi-famous oh, yeah. at least for sure. Carson Deersing. Um, so that's Penny Lane's son. She works at Giant Real Radio. Um, Shout out to Penny. She's a big supporter she's of the organization. Awesome. Great, great person. Yes. Um, but Carson, I performed with him a few times. Uh, we performed at some cons- casinos together. We did like fourth. I did a lot of like Fourth of July events. Um, I op- in those events, I opened up for the Willis Clan several times. With the Willis Clan, mm. they were on America's Got Talent. Um, big family. They're amazing. Um, but I s- opened up for them a couple times. But a lot of the times I have opened up for them, I performed with Carson. He was normally playing like guitar for me. But oh, yeah, he's he fantastic. Play. He's great. Mm-hmm. I remember he can pull. And he is, he is so sweet. He's the sweetest. Yeah, but, and he loves skateboarding. Yeah. I remember he was like showing us all skateboarding stuff. I'm like, wow, you're really good at skateboarding, <laughs> dude. That's I mean, awesome. Hey, he's like sponsored by like big, uh, like big, uh, well, harmonica actually. Right? To, you play up. Yes. Oh, yeah. He's a har- different big harmonica, harmonica sponsor. sponsor. Yeah. Yes, it's all coming big back harmonica. to me now. They did a little, and then tell me about the horse races you've performed at. Like, do yeah. people, you get to see all the big hats. Like, okay. everyone's wearing hats. Um, I want a horse hat. I want a horse <laughs> racing hat. No, so uh, a just lot of times. Just to go and drink. That's it. Like, just to go there and drink. A lot of times I do Water, the of course. national yes. anthem. The juice. <laughs> juice. The national anthem for uh, horse race events. I sing national anthem before they started. Um, I did that several, several times. And I love doing it. Um, national anthem. I performed it so many times. And yet it still makes me so nervous. So, so, so nervous. Like I get in my head mm-hmm. so much. And even though I've sang that song hundreds of times, like performed it hundreds of times, it scares me so much. Oh my God. It, I think it's the hardest song ever to sing. And I'm a national anthem singer as well. What we need to do, I think actually you was trying to get into like the NFL and like and be, like all the different leagues, right? So, so we just got to get in there. Well, David, I, I am well, also a national anthem singer. I know David's been trying <laughs> well, to get David's, you in there. Well, David's tried to get me to do it, but I always say no because it scares me. Oh, hey. <laughs> Face no. your fears. Oh, that was not the exact answer I was expecting. But you know, I feel that it is such it, a challenging well, it's song. It's just like 
every like every other thing I perform, I'm fine. But it's just that song. Like even though I've sang it so many times, it's so it deep scares in, me. Like, it's the, it's, I, forgetting the words is what gets me. I don't know. Like that's just because I just don't want to mess up the words. Like even though I know the really? words, I'm so scared I'll get so up into my head and then I'll just like forget the words on like national television and then I'll be that girl that <laughs> no. forgot the national anthem. No, I mean that's that's one way to get that. famous. You will never do that. Not Don't the worry. Type of famous I want. Yeah, that okay. is the thing that is <laughs> going to stick of all things. I mean, there's so many things you have to worry about. Like I've sung the national anthem for oh, lots of things as well, and it's an honor, you know. But and it's it's a big song, and it's an emotional song. It's very meaningful. The, probably yeah. the most deepest song ever. Yeah. Very hard, challenging song to sing. So yeah. you have to pick the right key. So you really, if you you have to pick the right key for your body, you know what I mean? So when you go up there, I mean, I think it's important just to have that starting key. Otherwise, because, like, you could, like, one time when we walked, so when we were walking tra- across America, you know, me and Jolly went out when the boys went to bed at, like, 5 p.m. <laughs> and we And we did, really? like, I performed all around, all across America to raise money for Helping Hands Freedom for the House of Healing. And... There was this one time, one time, I accident, I got really excited. Everybody loved me singing the anthem all across America, so I would sing it. And one, this one time, I started like hella high, bro, hella high. And luckily, I'm like a descant soprano. Like when you start something in the wrong key, you just gotta commit to it. You gotta stay in that key, and that's kind of the hard thing about being a singer, you know. If you just randomly like, you know, because normally we'd start in like, oh, like oh, say can you? But if you start like. I started oh, super say, low. Can you say? Is that really how high like, you started? Girl, it? <laughs> literally, the end was like. Ah! It oh. was like so high. I was like, but I slayed it for some reason. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. It's all about committing to the key. You know yeah. what I mean? I mean, and it's just no, it's a like, big. I'd like song. to review that I'm, footage. I don't. <laughs> I'm always I'm always honored to sing it. It's just like. I don't know. It just scares me. Like it's a I get big into thing. my I get into my head so much, and it's just you need me there every time before you sing the anthem. Just be like, what? you got this girl. <laughs> How do you do that? I, I was there know. for a few of your yeah. anthems. I remember at the big, you know, Indiana Casino mm-hmm. and different things. And you always Jolly. do. You always do amazing. You always do amazing. What? The anthem is a very hard piece. <laughs> I hit the microphone again. Uh, <laughs> You're so cute. I, said, I just heard Jolly. I said, <laughs> Jolly. <laughs> I said, no, I'm sorry, Jolly. That's what I said. Like, I've sang so many um, Fourth of July anthems. Usually, like, for Brownsburg, they have me sing it. And then, like, one year, I was running late. And I'm like, can you hold up the parade for me? <laughs> turns they, out, no, they could not. Turns out, <laughs> no, they could not. So I was literally, like, two minutes late. Sometimes Everything you just was, have to show up on time. And sometimes, you know, you just <laughs> have consequences. For Renee. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes there are consequences to your actions. And, like, being late is just, it's bad. But... Sometimes you I get very embarrassed and you don't get to sing the anthem sometimes. I wouldn't Too know. I, I, I normally don't show up late for things I'm supposed to perform at. Good for you. Thank Good yeah, for you, You're Brenna. a professional. <laughs> yeah. Oof. That yeah. was the, probably the most embarrassing thing in my whole entire life. Like They have, they were fine. They just played a, re- like a record of it. Were they fine, though? Did they invite you back? Yeah, they Asking did. Asking for a friend. <laughs> they did. They invited me back. They invited me back. I've sang since then and sang multiple times since then for the Brownsburg parade. But like, yeah, I was like mortified. I was literally mortified. I'm just like, I'm so sorry. What were you late for? There was some traffic thing, wasn't it, Jolly? Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. She was just, she woke up late. I woke up late, but yeah. also there was a traffic thing that like really... It prohibited me from getting in there like all the s- miles of roads were just blocked off i'm like are we supposed to no like run there from here because i'm going to and i ended up doing that but they i just had missed it too and i ran girl i ran like a giraffe <laughs> you ever seen renee merrifield running through an airport in heels no. It's funny. But I would love to that's like when i was your age it looks I had like a, wild a grasshopper life. with like gum stuck on its it's like, like huh, huh. but it's like leaping. It's like, pew, pew. it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. I would love. Jason, I'm not like that if anymore. If you yes. ever see this, yeah. if like you ever witness this, videotape it for me, please. Okay. Thank you. That was back when I was I a youngster like somewhere. you. I was a little older than you, but I had. I you was, know, now I'm. Uh, I don't do that no more. <laughs> it's so funny. Mm. Like when you don't answer your phone, I literally text Jason. And I'm like, hey. Okay. <laughs> 
Uh, I'm like, I, no, I, like I don't, all I, my friends. You just I have can't. to keep calling. You just have to keep calling. I'll answer oh. it. For some reason, like my calls don't even show up. And then when they do, I'm just like, if I'm doing mm. like, I'll be in the shower or something. Mm. I'll be they like, they really? don't. Really? He's getting spanked after this. He's <laughs> calling me out. <laughs> Promise. Okay. Hold on. Oh, no. That was it. That was just, yeah. 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 <laughs> So you're Save a ba- you're a doll. You're so amazing. Give us another big shout out. We can. Um, Melissa Harvey says I'm always late. <laughs> yes, Melissa always, Harvey. Always shout out to Melissa Harvey. Is that uh, Brandon Jones' dad or St- uh, Sarah Harvey's? I think sister? it's Sarah Harvey's sister. I can't. I, Melissa I can't really Harvey, tell I love thing, you. But. Cheers. <laughs> I'm like Brandon Jones's mom or Sarah Harvey's sister. Which one is that? <laughs> There's two. I'm of not them. sure. I can't really tell. But Aww. small little icon there. Yay. So oh, two you. Melissa Harveys in your life, huh? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So uh-huh, uh-huh. let's just review. Yeah. We have a single, Brenna Shannon, Brenna Faith, sorry. She's dropping at midnight, produced by Mark Johnson at yeah. the Pop Machine, who just freaking recorded a whole Sublime with Rome album. I'm blown away by that. You know what I mean? Like, they've done a lot of big artists. They always do amazing artists all the time they won't work with anyone unless you're amazing so um obviously mark loved you and took to you i mean you got in there and you slayed that single it's coming out at midnight yes i'm so excited <laughs> everybody it's on all platforms right as far yes. as we know mostly all of them spotify if not all of them. itunes apple music amazon iHeartRadio, radio tiktok um um all uh, uh all, like All everything, <laughs> Amazon, Amazon, Amazon Music, music Amazon Prime Music. Yeah, everything. Just like, uh, just like all the pa- platforms for this podcast. Mm-hmm. They're on probably. all. And shout out to I'm David guessing. Highball taking care of you. What is your the na- David? Come say something. Come over here. Say hi. Hey, you want to come over here? I'm gonna come over. Yeah, here. come over here. Tell us who microphone. you are. Tell us how you doing. <laughs> how y'all doing, everybody? I'm David Highball with um, Highball Entertainment, and so I manage Brenna here, and so we're just gonna uh, do it what, what it takes, you know, for her to. You know, get. I mean, she's got all the talent, so I just got to do my job. Now she'll do hers, so I just got to do my job to make sure. So make sure you guys. She's on iHeartRadio, uh, Spotify, Amazon. She's like on. She'll be on like 28 different um, uh, platforms. streaming platforms. Yes. yes. So yes. please make sure you download Brenna Faith at midnight this evening. Everybody, let's make this a big event and everything and um we're just really excited to work with the talent uh, of this uh, level right here she's just a tremendous talent she she's just a tremendous writer and i'm very proud of her and uh hey hey best manager oh! right here. <laughs> david highball is the bee's knees people Fun we love facts. him not only amazing Fun friend facts. but god Speaking what a good guy helping hands for freedom the first volunteer for Helping Hands for Freedom, right? Isn't that your... I was one of, yeah. We, you were like the, the like the very first... It seemed like some, uh, Roth or someone mentioned that you were like the first... Yeah, you were like the very first... <laughs> yeah, come back over. Don't I'll, leave us I'll, yet. I'll Don't leave us yet. Here, I'm going to sit on Brenna's lap. Oh, <laughs> no, so for with Helping Hands for Freedoms, you know, I... um. I worked. I helped with the um, with the uh, route for the brave to get that going. Is it, with get the fundraising. I was the fundraising um, director for that and everything, so we can so they can get that going and everything, which was just a tremendous way that and they just raised so much money for these uh, gold star families to help all these all these families in need and everything. And it's just you know I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, it's a blessing for me to be a, pr- a part of it, you know, and just an honor. I was just an honor for me to have been you know invited to. Do such a thing. I, I wasn't expecting Yes, hey, same for us. But <laughs> yeah, got, you got to look at the camera with the red light oh, on over there, too. Right too. There. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> hey. There he is. There he is. We, we got people really saying hi to you, Patrick oh, Shannon, hey. Jennifer Chastain. Yeah, David, hi, Bob. Yeah, so, I mean, it was just a tremendous honor just to be able to work with her dad, 
you know, with with uh, her father, uh, Patrick, Patrick Shannon. Shannon, you know, Purple Heart uh, recipient and everything. He's just a, a tremendous guy. Just, mm -hmm. you know, it's just an honor to know, you know, just a true, that's a, what you call a true hero and mm -hmm. everything. And then and then Brenda right here, I mean, you know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Uh, Brenda right. right here, is, I mean, she's just a tremendous uh, songwriter, tremendous talent, and looking forward to working with her. So Bro, you you're going to make me cry. Woo! That's, that's what we're hoping for. Cry for us, Brenna. Cry. Cry. He See those said, tears. He speaks the truth. Oh, look at those tears. Oh, look at those that tears. That was me when we started hearing your song earlier. No, it's oh, Let them catch you're the so light. pretty. Look Let at them you. Catch the light. Hey, look at those eyes. She got these ice blue eyes, too. Um, did you see that? Oh, yeah. you had a tear. Oh, oh my God. Now I'm going to cry. Our first tears. As soon as I see a tear, it makes me cry. <laughs> Don't do this to me. <laughs> you that. That's hey, not that fair. Hey, guys, you get to on her. That's ain't fair. Oh. Oh. You did this to us, David. David, sorry. <laughs> David, sorry. David, sorry. Can I squeeze it out Bunch for of you? Bunch of crybabies. <laughs> Can I squeeze out my tear? There it goes. It's falling slowly. Are we done yet? <laughs> <laughs> squeeze. <Okay>. Pinch. <laughs> you're, you're like, oh. you're like, Ugh. I'm like, I gotta squeeze that out. But dude, he speaks the truth. You're so talented. I love seeing Girl, young talent. Girl, if you make me cry again, I swear. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it some more. I can't. Keep this ball uh, rolling. No. Joff, where's your squeezies? Let's get them out. No. I'm cold, chiseled steel. I feel <laughs> nothing. Oh, we cry at like every that commercial, is such so that's a lie. Bull. You, don't you know. know, I do he know. He cries at puppy oh, when commercials. When I come over here, you give me a hug and you're like, "Hi, how are you?" Okay, I'm just being polite. <laughs> okay, whatever, it's whatever, so icky. whatever. Ah. I don't believe you. <laughs> you're so full of it. Okay, you full, he's a he's a baby. Honestly, we both cry at like the whim of anything, like any commercial. If it has to do with babies or animals, we just cry. And he didn't even like animals, which I think is unhumanly. Okay, that's all the time we have on the show <laughs> okay. today. So have a good, okay. we, we need to review. <laughs> we need to review. Okay. You have a single dropping at midnight. Midnight tonight. <laughs> please download. Please show your support if you feel inclined to there share. Right Point to yes. it so people know. And if we you, will if put if it in the show if notes. If you feel inclined to share, please do. Um, if it's affected you, like make, make a comment, right? And you know, this is sexual assault. This is a big deal. I mean, Me Too movement, guys. Just maybe you can come out and you know and say like, yeah, this something has happened to me and this made me feel better. This kind of helped me heal. That's kind All of the, the whole support goal. support means Mark literally Johnson. everything. So Mark Johnson's commenting, Jolly. Yeah. What does he, he says, say? Great job, Brenna and Renee. Jason's graphics and edits are really great. He is Hi, such Mark. a pro. Mark, for the record, it's dot pro. <laughs> He's the worst, Mark. Thank you, girl. Babe. Your hair's like elect, like it has like electricity to the wall. Yeah. <laughs> is that the, is that because of the balloons? Is that acting like poop? <laughs> like my hair's being really like touch me. Oh God, I don't want to do it, girl. Okay, oh, we good. didn't. Oh, okay. I usually All electrocute right, Mike, Mike the ass out of people. Okay. Okay. No, it really next? is my hair. I think it is the balloons. Jolly, can you get a shot of the balloons one more time before we go? Uh, yeah, oh. I probably can. We really... need to shout out. Brenna, give me all your URLs for the viewers. Tell them where to follow you. You can follow me on Facebook under Brenna Faith. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, B underscore Faith 08. Um, I'm trying to get that changed to Brenna Faith. Already exists. So, um, Oh, we're going to buy her out. <laughs> Just add a little dot pro on there or something. A little, a little and, so yeah, dot apparently, pro so I cringy. need to add my TikTok, and that was, what was that? Yeah. See, I don't even get on. I don't even like use my TikTok. Okay, it's Faith B underscore twenty. Boom. Okay, cool. And y'all need to follow me on TikTok because I Look just became balloons. TikTok famous. LOL. LOL. Look I'm really balloons. proud of myself. Finally got something that got traction on TikTok. Who would have thought it was that little jiggly, <laughs> wiggly thing? <laughs> the worst video I've ever seen like, in my life. So <laughs> wow, like four thousand likes all of a sudden. No idea. I mean, like my other stuff. LOL. Probably won't. But Brenna, you're such a sweetheart. I'm so proud of you for producing this EP. I know you, and I know you have a million songs under your belt. I can't wait to see what you do in the future. I can't wait to just oh, yeah. be your friend throughout the whole way, guide you. I'm always here if you need anyone. I'm here if just you need Just don't call or text your cell phone. <laughs> yeah. And also no. don't call me. <laughs> 
No, he's joking. Just keep calling. That's what you got. You just got to keep calling. I wasn't calling. joking about the don't call. Literally, it's not going to do You should good. see what my friends do. My friends, they just call, call. Like the, like, the hey, second Renee, or, people are trying to call you. No, it's like you. the second like, or what? third time. I keep my phone like all over the place, but the second or third time, I will pick up. See, Mark Johnson's a badass because he has a policy where he answers always on the first call. I always admire him for that. I mean, he, and that's so cool. I mean, that he is a first ring dude type of guy. I get I think too that's many robocalls to answer the first time. He will pick up the phone, Mark Johnson. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he always answers the phone. I used to be that way. But yeah, me and but Mark. I'll get better for you. Me and Mark have talked about working together and future, so. I'm excited for that collab. That was a great thing to happen. Thanks to J- David Highball. He just got you in the door with that. And I, you know, I always saw, foresaw this happening. So I'm glad yes. we finally got the puzzle I'm very pieces happy. together. So my viewers, High follow cam. Brenna Highball Cam. Hey. Oh, 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 Thank you guys so much for coming in on a special episode of the Renee Michelle Merrifield Show with my dear friend. A special Wednesday episode just to cater to Brenna Faye. She works till <laughs> 12 tomorrow. I she work till 10 famous. tomorrow. She works till 10, and so that's okay. We'll do anything for our babes. But you guys follow Brenna Faith. She's dropping an EP tonight at midnight. I can't wait. wait. What? Is she? Single. A single. single. <laughs> Sorry. Same. Yeah. Not really the same yeah. thing. It's Nobody a record, though. She's though. dropping this record at midnight, people. Guys, please tune in. All the support <laughs> means everything. Comment. Tell her. Text her. Not text her. Don't do that. But message her <laughs> and tell her She'll maybe if the song affected you. I'm sure she, that would just be so meaningful to see <laughs> to hear that, right? Yeah. Brenda, anything else you would like to add, baby girl? I think that's it. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I love you. There's I a love Facebook you. page. Shout out to Mark Johnson, Eric Clay Johnson, David Highball, and Jolly, and Patrick Shannon. Shout out to Brenna Shannon, the guest of my show tonight. I love you. Special shout out to Calvin Weaver, who is blowing up the comments uh, and uh, you, th- tagging a lot of people and stuff. So we appreciate his support. <laughs> Thank you so much for all the viewers. We love you. We'll see you next week on the Renee Michelle Merrifield Show. I love you guys. Woo-hoo. Brenda Shannon. Brenda Faith. <laughs> <laughs> Hold that. Hold it. Hold it. Freeze frame. Freeze frame. <laughs> Hold it. Hold it. Freeze frame. <laughs>